What's up, Tarnish? It's your being We're back with another video. So in today's video, we're going to basically be talking about... We're going to be talking about this um, stat build. The stat builds in the game, right? So for everybody that was, for everybody that's curious about my build, because every time I get asked about it, this is what I'm running currently. 52, 17, 50, and I have 100. And I am level 132. Hold on, I'm thinking about where I want to put my stats right now. I'm going to go into intelligence real quick. So for everybody that want to stat guide build, right? So it's, it's really just based off of what you're using. So like, say if you're using, say if you're using, hold on. I had to deafen that real quick just to make sure nobody interrupt. Say, say if you're using like, um the spear a spear for example you want to use spear you want to use heavenly restricted and then you're using healing with the race um let's make it lutharian L lantharian the, the cat race i forgot what it's called lantharian lutharian something like that so you basically want to go more more into like and trust me i, I know you're not going to believe me and stuff you're gonna want to go a lot into con, bro. You're gonna want to go like a decent amount into con. You want to do like at least fifty or like you know, and we'll go to like one twenty into con, and then plus if you get the pauldrons on top of that, it's gonna be like you know one forty on top of that. So you're gonna be straight. And the only reason why I say that is because look, let me pop this the spear skill for you for like those heavily restriction users. Cause this, I mean, this move I honestly takes a lot of like as you can see, bro. It takes a decent amount takes about like 20 yeah no nah, it takes way more than that take it like 30 it's like taking about like 30 mana every time you use this move and it's spammable you know it's, it's spammable right it, it takes a lot of mana but you gotta understand i have monsters reserve and i am a mage build so like you gotta be careful with that so i'm saying you want to go a lot into con you want to have a lot of they for me you want to have like a lot of defense also because you're not gonna be able to spam your skills the way you want to spam them so blocking a lot and you want to be able to take a punch especially if you're using heavenly restriction so that's 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 the way i would go with that um for say if you're running water you're running water it bro this is a broken build and listen i just told somebody this and one of y'all had commented also you had commented that y'all also had got um the new race the dracoon scale congratulations you know what i'm saying bro a lot of people don't even have it so the fact that you do have it you should appreciate it, cherish it, and don't remove it. Cause you could have gotten Mahari, you could have gotten Ryuman, but you got Dread Scale. So you feel me? Congratulations to you, my boy. Um, but yeah, what you would if you're going um, Dread Scale, and you're running um, Love by Mana or Monstrous Reserves, and you're using Dread Scale, Dread Scale and Water. All right. So what I would do, right? Say if you get four, say if you get super lucky, you get four leaf, and you get the Whirlpool. What I would say is, since people could block, so with these, with the with moves that do damage over time, you can just keep spamming this and keep blocking it. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a whole video on like things y'all can block, moves y'all can block in the game, so y'all can know for PvP. I mean, you can keep spamming this over and over and over again, right? So this is very snappy. So when people keep doing that to you, what you can do if you have dress skill, you use the roar while that's there, and then you stun them. You stun them and then you hit them with the M1 while your puddle under you is like literally eating away at their health. Eating away at their health. And then I think by the time um, Fab comes back and does the update and all that stuff, water might or might not have mana drain. I don't know. So, you know, depending on that, that's one combo I can use. And with that stat, with the stat build that I will go for that also, I would say I'd run this stat right here. Exactly the exact same. Nothing, I, would, I wouldn't change anything here. I'd go a lot into con. I'd go a lot into intelligence, cause you, cause you want to use your race. Your race is mainly like straight. Uh, it gives you a lot of health. You know what I'm saying? It gives you a lot of health. It gives you the stun, and you nerf and you nerf damage, incoming damage. So it's really good for like it's like a upgraded version of Stonekin. You know. So look, I'm saying that 1,018 health. So you want to like utilize that with this race. You want to utilize it as much as you possibly can. Um, say if you have, let me guess. Let's let's go to like more, you know, use abilities. You have regular world tree run this same stat build right here this stat build is like perfect 
max out your mana, um, your mana sheaf. A lot of people be like, oh, why should I max out my mana sheaf? Bro, a hey, fuck. You know what? Let me not cuss. It, 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 bro, it does more damage. It has a separate stat, right? So if I'm hitting you, there's a stat saying 22. That's your base damage from your weapon. And then I'm, I'm hitting you again, right? You're going to see a 10 on the side. So that 10 that's on the side plus the 22 that's right here. This is the mana sheaf's... Um, that, that would be the mana sheaf's um, damage and then your weapon damage. And then you can just do the math and combine those two. So that's why whenever y'all see me in videos, certain videos, y'all see multiple numbers pop up. It's because it's my mana sheaf. So mana sheaf actually is worth it. Get it go, get it to go, Clover, bro. It's actually really, really, really good. Especially if you're heavily restriction built. I cannot, I cannot stress this enough, bro. Bro, level up your mana sheaf. What are you, what are you waiting for? Like, what's what's stopping you? Nothing is stopping you besides you. So go ahead and level it up and make your build great, bro. Like you feel me? So you can fully use your build for it uh, until it's fullest potential um another thing that you could possibly do for stats right what is it you're running wind use these stats like these these stats right here is perfect for mage i know you're probably like why do you have so much dexterity why do you have so much intelligence half of these i don't even really have them my armor gives my armor gives like the gear alone gives a decent amount of stuff so like you want to be able to hold your own against uh say you come across a heavily restriction user you want to be able to hold your own in a one on on a um hand-to-hand -hand combat like if they get close to you bro you want to be able to do enough damage so like they don't like just come in blazing guns trying to just m1 you because you do a because you tickle their health you know honestly that would be a little crazy heavenly restriction with dread scale Ooh. damn because you already get like a, a crazy amount of health bro so I'm thinking to myself, like heavily restriction, dread scale, and like you're running healing. Um, you know, probably don't even need healing for real. Or like you run blood. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I, like I don't even want to like Jesus Christ. I don't even want to think about that. That just sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. But you can run the same build with that also. You can run the same stat. Cause right now these stats are pretty great. And then when I get more stuff, I'll be able to push doors also. Like say if they do another door thing, you gotta be level. You need 25 into strength. Bro, this is, this is going to even out itself. I didn't put no stats in this. No stats at all. This is straight up armor. Armor and accessories. All right? So, but if y'all want to go more of like a heavenly restriction build, I would say to put more into your strength. But always keep in mind that stats do have a stat cap. They do have a stat cap. So, if you go past the stat cap and you're just wasting points at this time that you could have been investing into your con, which allows you to fight longer and take more damage, you know, over time. And hopefully, you know, turn the combat around. Because I for sure fight people to get me to this half right here. And I'm, I'm that's like what I have like 250 health left. So I have like 250 health left. And I can literally turn the tide. Because it's, it's not that hard to like bring somebody from 0 to 100. Or 100 to 0. Real quick. You feel me? Real quick. Go squad on that real shit. So, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, catch on the next video. If I did end up helping you with your stats, you know, let me know. But, you know, I, I turned down the brightness on my monitor so y'all can actually see me better. And, you know, it's not too it's not too bright. And let me know if y'all if y'all messing with it. You feel me? Leave a like, comment, subscribe me. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.